all starts down here, look. Down that line. If we go along the front, it's a bit of a herb garden here. This is the lady of the night. She comes out, she opens her flowers as the evening comes on and smells divine. Well, there's the herb garden, but we'll come back to that. This is my rose. I pick these off every morning so that I get more and more. At this point, there's only three of them there. This is all down by the side of the road, look. So there, they're medicinal herbs, look. Rosemary, you'd obviously know. It's a type of marigold there, I'm not sure what it's called in English. Calendula. There's oregano. Here we've got, and this side they're finished. But I've got another part of the garden that these are still in fruit. And these are, what do we call these? Raspberries. It's a bit of Galician natural cane for making wicker baskets. It's not wicker, is it? I suppose it is wicker. Just planted, just just planted this in the last couple of days, so this is looking a bit sad, but it will come along nicely. These are the Galician cabbages that will become that big. Those are mine as well, we'll come down to those. So I've got a winter rose here. So this all summer is kind of hidden away and there's not much life going on. As you can see, new shoots. Well, this is an amazing little rose, which is here on the bush for about two weeks, opening slowly. And then we've got another two weeks in the house. Uh, and that keeps really, really nicely. So there's more of this magic marigold stuff. I make herbal oil out of this for skin treatment. Calendula. So this is all mine. That's a pretty little thing. I like that. Just kind of made its way into the garden. So here we go. I've actually just taken out all of those pumpkins, look. You can see those, which is this. This is actually a compost heap. So Here's the Galician. Here is the Galician. They call this angel's wing. This is a small one, really. And they use this for puddings and desserts. And this one is an amazing for making soups, stews, any of that kind of thing. Roasting it, that is really meaty. So. This has just grown all out of proportion and I've just cleaned it up and pushed it back here so that I can put in various types of cabbage, table cabbage we call that here, round cabbages, Swiss chard and then for the middle I stick in lettuces. Can you see? Lettuces. Just to fill up the space between the cabbages because they can't be too close together otherwise they wouldn't grow but having something in the middle helps use up all that space we'll see that later on raspberries, well I've replanted them here this year and these raspberries are actually quite happy down at this end of the garden can you see them look? Oh, like that. well I'm going to have that one myself I think Cheers. So these raspberries came up rather nice this year. That's kind of how big they are, look. Oop. Just found a mouthful more, look. Oh, look at those. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, I think they're going down the old rabbit hole. I love them. Cheers. So. 
all being done. There's those other ones that we looked at earlier. These are just maturing here, although it looks all dead. These will become as orange as you like. We call those peanut. It's not traditional regional, but they do work very well here. I've got some uh, pots here that I'm using. Oh, look, the worms like it. That's good. I'm using those so that I can then transplant them wherever I like, or I might even sell some. So we've got. We call this knit bone. That's for your broken arms and legs, ladies and gentlemen. Knit bone. Uh, I can't remember what the official name for that is. There you go. Lemon thyme. This is just what we've been putting in this week. So the peppers down this end of the garden are kind of finishing. So what I'll do is these last ones will be seed. Let this go as red as you like and then that will fall off the plant and it will start to rot. Then I'll get it and I'll take it to wherever I want it to. So, there you go. Talking about seed, this is my seed garden. I'll put a plastic over here later on, but it's alright as it is at the moment. So you've got lots of young types of uh, cabbages, brassicas. Then we've got, oh, I'm not going to explain all this, there's too much in here, look. Each of those little mounds is something different, just about to come up to be transplanted out. Strawberry garden went a bit out of order. Strawberries. Everybody likes strawberries. We do get some each day. But it did get a bit out of hand this year. So here we've got peppers reddening off these kinds. This is a different kind of strain. <laughs> this is a different kind of pepper. This is a different one that we eat these small, fr deep, uh, deep fried and with whole salt on the top, sea salt. See that there's those reddening off on the plant. You might know these from buying them in jars, piquillo, the pointed ones. Uh, broke off here, so I've just kind of supported it up with the box in the hope that it might mature. So that was them. These are these Galician cabbages, look. How big these are, and these even get bigger as it goes. It's a stable diet for the chickens. This gives loads and loads of food. Every day I come out and I pick a couple of leaves off half of these, and the other day I come out and pick the leaves off the other ones. <laughs> so we've got leeks. Who don't like leeks? I oh, know I do. Got those, look. So they'll keep us in food up until March. They're coming on nicely. <laughs> And then we've got different kinds of cabbages again. Cabbages, different kinds. Lettuce going into seed, look. That's been in flower, that's going into seed. I let, I let most of my plants go to seed so I can take my own seeds out. You see? <coughs> lettuce is through the middle. I've had the rest of them, you see. I've had the rest of these lettuces, but I have lettuces all through the middle. And all the way through here. So more cabbages. You can't live without cabbage, says somebody that I don't even know, but there you go. Cabbages. Let's come over this way a bit. How about that? Pumpkins. I planted four seeds. That's where we came in up there, look. I planted four seeds, and that's what I got out of that kind of pumpkin. And there's more. This, that's what I said before, this was the angel wing, the Galician one. We've been over there from another angle, you probably remember the half greenhouse. So, the Galician cabbage, oh yeah, right, let's go down. 
we've got another leak patch where you can see I've got lettuces through the middle that I've had all of those as well it's ground coverage you see here I've got more peppers something that's really really good when you get used to it it's a really good diet <laughs> look this is really special part of the garden look this is where we started off today and I said this is a herb garden right so here we go oregano and rosemary this is one I got in Portugal and I don't know her name she's really pretty and she gives off little yellow flowers but it, this is med medicinal but she's not in flower obviously at this time of year now we've got more oregano that I've actually harvested you'll find that there is nearly 40 bushes of rosemary through my garden this is all rosemary look I got impatient so I cut and tied my roses down they, they were really abundant but they haven't been for a long time so we've got more roses there look tied down we've got thyme that's lemon thyme and we've got sage we had some up there as well. Now we've, we're a camellia people. Camellia. This is just coming into flower. These are all completely different and most of them have names but I'm not going to be able to remember them all now anyway. This is Midnight Magic. That's, this is a dark flower and this, this will be full of flowers. And here we've got another one. I'll come back later on in the year and we'll show you these in flower. This is another camellia. These are all planted by me. Some I've actually bought as plants and other I've actually done myself from cuttings. The rhubarb, we just had a big rhubarb. Now oh, look at that, that's really fun. We just had a re big rhubarb harvest, so that's just cut back. We've got all these little plants that I put in this year. Look. These are all my own cuttings. I start off with one and then the next year I have five and the next year I have fifteen. We've got more camellias here, look. This should come out in flower soon. Roses, these roses are still in flower. No un video. Mass camellias. That I bought as a plant, but the one by the side of it I actually did do myself and there's another one there that we'll get to see. This is one of the small ones that actually do smell. They call this the apple blossom camellia. Gives little white and pink flowers. Not very special, but the smell is amazing. While we're talking about camellias, this is Damanaura which is what they call uh, one of the earliest strains, a natural strain that actually does give seed, as most of them do not. We had a present here that didn't come with a ticket, so we don't actually know what it is until it comes into flower this year. It's been here since the end of last winter, so we'll see that. Here we've got Freedom Bell, which is a pretty little flower, and that's a nice little bush. As you can see, it's all full of medicinal herbs. That's our lemon thyme again. We're full of rosemary, as you can see. This is an interesting one. This is the sugar plant. It's finished now for this year. I'll come back next year. And they call this Estevia. Stevia. Estevia. You can work that one out yourself. My lemon tree. Look, you can see a lemon, can't you? That's, that's from this last year. So going up and round, this will be a charred bed. I let my chard go to seed. The seed gets washed down this way. They actually do become plants that then I will transplant. This is all full of these amazing flowers in springtime as well. So I love that. As you can see, I'm a herby kind of person more rosemary, I'm just going to rosemary all the way down here now but I've been all the way down there, can you see that rosemary? it's a rosemary avenue 
go down this side as well. Don't know how much you can see, as I can. This is my cherry tree that's been here a year. It's a bit eaten away, but at this time of year, I suppose that's all right. That's okay. Cherry tree. I've got another camellia here that's not very, very happy. It's not at all very, very happy. It's gone very yellow. I think it just needs a bit of shade or something. It's an orange tree that came out of a pot a year ago and it's not happy but it's not dead. It nearly did die. Ah, see, nearly did. I had to move it and it got a bit better. I've got another one here that I adopted that came out of a really bad habitat without sun and too much water and it's been here for about the same time as that one and that's coming back. See, rosemary. Rosemary is good fun. Just break a stick off and whack it in the ground. And normally one out of every three will come back. And that's called rosemary. So, as I said before, the, the diet here, the diet here is this cabbage that would have been years ago, would have been maybe the only kind of winter green they would have had before the common cabbage and the leek. So we plant this generously. I give it to the chickens. What we do is we just take off the bottom leaves, leaving a crown. That's food. Take off more leaves. That's not big. Big is another thing. That's all right, but that's not big. You just take off the bottom leaves, and that's nosh for the chickens. Although I could eat that myself, and I actually do have a plate of that for this evening. Has to be cooked for two hours. Nice slow cooking, old style food. This is chicken food. They like these snails. Just rained, so there's lots and lots and lots of snails. Can you see him? So, ladies and gentlemen, down to there, just after the structure is, to start from that end, goes up and 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 up to that corner. Goes up to that corner. Goes up to the herb garden, comes down to that side, comes along that side. I can see a definite line, I'm sure you guys can. So that is my garden. All oh, right. Not finished. This is that nick bone. Nip bone is green compost, so I use the leaves as vegetable matter. Here I've just planted broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts and something else. Looks like some beasties eating me the leaves, doesn't it? Oi, somebody's been having a nosh. We've just finished the season, obviously, of normal spinach, but that's all right. There's loads of nice seeds there, isn't there? This should be nicely populated. I've always had a problem growing anything here, even before the roses. This is that midnight lady, that uh, lady of the night. This is the one that smells. That's a different colour. It's the same plant. One that smells fantastic at night. It's a shame you can't smell it. This is peppermint, and this will cover nicely a whole area when I let it. So the idea is let it, let it grow, let it prosper. I brought this here a few months ago, and it looks all right. It's kind of, can you see that? It's growing a nice base, can you see? It's all roses, a nice base. 
so that's good that's going to be really good by springtime I'll give this a cut back before that I can have all this for my tea mmm if you could smell that so here more herbs we had a look down here earlier and this is for Galician basket weaving look at that colour that is amazing all gets broken up into different sizes and then they all get woven together into something they actually use these even for tying and things like that so this look at that look. you can do what you want with this wicker I think they'd call that maybe wicker I don't know maybe you guys would know willow maybe I don't know that's a beautiful colour I hope you can see that nice orange plant well there you go my garden hope you're liking it this is autumn time autumn I don't come out here much in the summer although obviously I've been working out here for months there's that rhubarb I didn't show you my trees because they're a bit fad Planted the, obviously everything here I've planted myself everything so this would be a peach tree I think it is I might get some of this wrong so if I get it wrong don't slap me on the hand this was a peach tree now don't forget this was the end of its season but it wasn't very happy this year it had a kind of cancer but they say that it comes with it look anybody that knows anything about trees So uh, that wasn't ever very good, but that's been here a couple of years, and um, it's been here a couple of years, and it's not doing very well. And at the same time, I bought a pear tree, and something else happened to this pear tree. It's been here the same time, two years, I think it is. So we'll give all this a cut back in the next uh, couple of months. There's another camellia. I don't know if I've shown you that before. There's a plant. Thank you, Sonia. Hasn't grown very big. Thank you, Ian. These are the ones that you guys brought us. More rosemary. How would we be without it? We've been around here before. What was the reason? Oh, right. The tree. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Does anybody know anything about trees? Hmm. Sad. Someone said it was just ants bringing other mites into the tree but I think this is something they start off all right and then they start dying off and then other ones will grow and the fruit dies off so that's that then really oh we haven't finished these are my these are my cuttings I've done and I've planted and this is my holly tree hello holly I've got holly and rosemary but this is a very nice plant as well and I've it just came here on its own so I left it pretty little flowers they're not very special but they're really nice but I think that is a healthy plant so I've left it so that's my garden come back and get those herbs right be happy everyone. Bye. For now.